Hello and welcome to BeyondJet.com. My name is Matthew and today we are presenting Airdale's first objects. Airdale are a British air conditioning company. And today we are presenting the Turbo Chill TCC and TCF. Uh, these can be found on two separate pages at the moment. So as usual with BeyondJet, you can find all the standard pieces of information here. If we click on to download, these objects are listed. And currently they are listed like this and they are available in Revit 2014 and up. Now this is really important to note that when you download these objects, if you're downloading them in a browser, a web browser, you must make sure you download the Revit family catalog as well. And when you import these into your library, uh, you have to make sure that they are in the same folder. And what will happen is, I will show you in a moment, you'll be able to select uh, the different uh, types which you can of course then specify within your model. If you're using the BIM object app like I am right here all you need to do is click on the one you want so I'm going to click here the 10 fan here and I click download. This will now download and here's the type catalog that we have. So what this means is is that I can see now I've got all the different uh, type models on the left with then the different types of parameters which can be included. And what I can do is I can just bring in either the one, either this one I want, I can select a list or I can select multiples. And I click OK and these are all in. I've already done this so I won't do this just now. I've already laid out the varying sizes of model which are available to download everything from the 4 fan unit all the way up to the 24 fan unit for the TCC and from 6 fan upwards for the TCF. Now as you can see I have drawn these slightly uh, uh, wrong because I've placed these within each of their uh, clearance zones but you can see here that the clearance zone is quite clearly uh, applied uh, the space that is required around these objects. We're looking at these in 3D, I can look at these in plan as well. I haven't got the clearance zones turned on right now, but you can see uh, the access and the doors that we need. And this is just done through a geometric line. Click on it, any one of these, uh, and we can go into the edit type information. Uh, and we have all the electrical and mechanical data that you need here. We also have dimensions, identity data, IFC parameters, the regions in which these are available purchase um, and other bits of information there. Having a look at these in a project, I've placed here a four unit here by this small apartment building. And you can do a number of things once it's inside a project. You can uh, say which phase in which this needs to be delivered in. So here I've split my building into uh, three phases of construction. Um, enable me to look at the model in all three phases and to know that this comes in in the third phase. If I click edit type here and I go back in, I've only imported, th I've imported two different types here. So if I click this second one, uh, the nodes will now change as will some of the data which is within it. And again, I have the different varying uh, bits of information to return back. If you're in the United Kingdom and you then want to add Kobe data to this, uh, you click on the box uh, button. Now you can only add Kobe if you are using uh, BIM objects toolbar and you can find your Kobe data within here. Uh, it should be listed here and you can add the properties. If you want to know more information about this, please look at the video on Kobe. Finally, what you can do also with the BIM object app is to check whether these have any updates. So if we click update here, we may see that this object is ready to be updated due to its data. We do here, we have the Turbo Chill update, so let's update this product now. This product has now been updated and you can see here there were some notes, updated parameters by myself, project manager here at BIM object. I'll go back in to see what those changes are. Yep. So we can see here the addition number has changed now to number two. 
So if you have any questions, please do not hesitate in contacting either ourselves here at Bin Object or Airedale. Enjoy using these objects and have a great day.